Hey, Nick here from MS Power User, and today we are going to be taking a look at Windows 10 build 14,352. This build is 10 builds newer than the last one we got to test, so let's take a look right now. So first, we're going to take a look at some iconography changes. So if we look at the File Explorer icon, you can see that actual colors are in this icon. The last version of the icon that we got was white, and it looked it looked okay this one just looks better because there's more contrast and it just looks more friendlier also within settings we have a new windows insider program icon which is better than a box so that's nice now the most important feature in this build is cortana for once so microsoft is aiming to demonstrate the integration that cortana can provide within your apps within this build so Basically, the first way that they do this is by um, demonstrating Groove Music integration. So let's try that out right now. Cortana is now able to fetch songs from the uh, Groove Music catalog, as well as congregating your music from your OneDrive in your local disk or whatever media you're using. So let's try this out. Hey Cortana, play some Zomboy. Playing Zomboy. I'm going to play mind control. Okay, yeah, so it works pretty well. And, um, yes, so Microsoft is also allowing you to have more contextual conversations with Cortana, whether they be when your device is unlocked or um, when your device is locked. So if we uh, say, hey, Cortana, set a timer. How long should I set the timer? And now we get this prompt, which is new. So as you can see, there's been a bit of work with Cortana there, okay? So Cortana integration, that's what this build has. Now, another example of this is, oddly enough, within Sticky Notes. I want to try this out, actually. So if you open Sticky Notes, we get this prompt, Enable Insights. So basically, it's just saying you can use Cortana within Sticky Notes. Okay, let's try this out. Hmm, seems broken. I'm not sure if I need pen input for this. Yeah, it's really broken. Okay, so yes, N or touch device. When we go to the Windows Ink workspace and open the sketchpad, the ruler has a compass now, but this is also broken because I'm not using a touch device or any sort of GPS enabled device. This is not north. This is more like northeast, if we're going to be honest. But yes, that's what you have. You have the compass within the ruler now. Within this build, there have been some other underlying changes. And the game bar now supports more full screen games such as uh, League of Legends, World of Warcraft, and others. Now, last but not least, we have one of the most important features when it comes to the Windows Insider program itself. And let's see how well Microsoft actually implemented this. So if you open the Feedback Hub, you're now going to be able to see Microsoft employee responses. Now, I'm not sure of this, but you will be able to see when uh, employees have responded to your issues or feature requests. So if we go to feedback, uh, seems like I see a lot of FM radio stuff. Yeah, I see this, we've got it, but I don't see an actual reply. Maybe edge broken, no. Yes. Uh, Yes, there we go. See, there's a reply right here. Thank you for your suggestion and feedback. This is not an automated reply at all. But yes, it's actually, yeah, it's pretty cool. So this should be uh, helpful for independent developers as well if you want communication with your development team. So that should be pretty nice. So yeah, all in all, this build is um, pretty good except for the uh, weird edge bug. Yes, keep this in mind. So within Edge, there's a bug where you may not be able to use your extensions for 15 minutes after upgrading. I have no idea why this is, but it is what it is. So just keep that in mind. And there's just been a whole bunch of improvements within this build. So yes, do you like it? Tell us in the comments and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.